in the third quarter. Did you change up anything kind of philosophically there to maybe pick up the pace a little bit and um, get out on the run? Or? I, I think our main thing, and it's kind of been something that we've battled, is when, when we rebound well mm -hmm. and when we close out well, we, we kind of have a, an ability to kind of shut down some teams for a little while, you know? And early on, I mean, they had four offensive rebounds early. One was a three, two of them were buckets, and the other one was uh, a foul. So, you know, just finishing possessions, I think, was the big thing for us. Just looking inside and instead of passing around the perimeter, those sort of little tweaks. Right, right I was going to say, you guys really dominated inside with Scanzoni. I mean, she was able to really dictate whatever she wanted to do down in the post. Yeah, she has, she's come a long way. She's, um, she's starting to accept the contact a little bit and, you know, people get aggressive down the paint. And when she's able to kind of use that to her advantage, to get to the hoop, she does a really nice job. So you have to utilize that matchup. So, I mean, it's their plain as day. You have to, you have oh, to utilize it. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. We talk about it all the time. You know, look inside, look inside, shot, dump, reverse. We say that, I probably said that a million times this year, if we can get it in. You know, and we play off of her too, and she's not a black hole. She's not one of those kids that, that won't kick it back out to you, so that helps as well. Yeah, I was going to say, Joe had mentioned that maybe more of an underrated passer too, so you like that ability to kick it into her. If it's not there, she kicks it out to a perimeter shooter. Oh, yeah, especially against the zone. You know, we work a lot of you know, two posts in, in there. And, you know, buddy system and if you hit her she's looking for her buddy diving to the hoop and you know she does a pretty good job of that. Now you get Marquette tomorrow night on their court I mean what's kind of expectations and what's the game plan yeah, against them? Um, I, I haven't seen them play unfortunately but I do know they have a pretty dominant post player and a real nice outside shooter so two girls we're really going to have to focus on there and I think in general I've heard they play really tenacious man-to-man -man yes. defense and, yes. and uh, you know we're just going to have to take care of the ball and get on the and see what happens, you know. How does that change though when you saw a team tonight that pretty much kind of tried to zone you up there a little bit and then that, now you're going to see a different sort of a defense? Is that a quick turnaround? I mean, are you have you seen enough of it where you're prepared for it? Um, I, th I think that we've seen enough, you know, pressure man to man as the season's going on that we, we have an idea of what we need to do. Now it's just all about going out and executing that plan and, you know, staying under control and playing within yourself. And that's what we